What about this problem? Sine inverse of sine. Should we just uh, cancel them out? Right? Sine undoes sine. Sine inverse undoes sine. Right? Well, why don't we just work it out step by step before making an assumption that's how it's going to be? Okay? So let, why don't we do sine of 5 pi over 4? So again, we say, all right, well, where's 5 pi over 4? Half of a circle is 4 pi over 4. So 5 pi over 4 is an extra pi over 4. Right? Hopefully you recognize that coordinate point is square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. Because it has the same reference angle, pi over 4, right? So therefore, you look at that, pi over 4, you look on your circle and say, oh, that's square root of 2 over 2. But since it's in the third quadrant, they're both negative. Right? So there's my angle. So that becomes negative square root of 2 over 2. So then I say sine inverse of negative square root of 2 over 2. Well, again, we know it's not going to be in the third quadrant, right? Because remember I said that you can't, none of the angles that are in the third quadrant for a inverse. So therefore, it has to be the point that's over here. Now again, we don't want to, I don't even need to do this one because I know it's not going to fall within the restriction of sine. The restriction of sine, remember, is from pi halves to negative pi halves. So again, I think to myself, well, how far is this angle away from the x-axis? The reference angle is? Pi over 4. That means this is going to have a reference angle of pi over 4. And if I do negative pi over 4, that's going to take me to the same angle, right? So that's my answer. So, oof. Thankfully, I did not cancel those out and choose that as my multiple choice answer, right? Because, yeah, they don't cancel each other out. It's an answer is negative pi over 4, right? Yeah. So don't get stuck by that. However, do you guys want to see an answer where they would cancel out? 